for your students as part of the initiative to get you acquainted with the last 10 years of UPSC previous year questions. We are currently in the subject of environment and today we are going to discuss questions in the theme of protected areas. Okay, so I have told you this previously, it's always much more better to commit to your memory certain things if you divide it according to the themes. So, in environment, we have had different themes like species, environmental law, basics of environment, etc. We are currently in the protected areas theme. Now, moving forward, we have a 2022 question which reads as you have the different wetlands and the different locations given to it. So, let us see how many and the question is a little bit more difficult because they are asking how many pairs are correctly matched. Okay, let us have a look. So, they are asking Hokera is in Punjab. Renuka is in Himachal, Rudra Sakar is in Tripura and Shastam Kota is in Tamil Nadu. Out of this, Shastam Kota has been previously also asked in UPSC questions, not in 2013, even prior to that. Shastam Kota is actually in Kerala. So, your this option is wrong. Okay. Now, when it comes to the other areas, one area that students normally get confused is your Hokera and Renuka. In the previous question, we discussed Harike and Harike is correct as I told you BS and Sutlej. But then Hokera wetland is primarily located in your Jammu and Kashmir area. So, this is also wrong. Coming to your Renuka wetland. Renuka again was in news last year for a lot of activities that were happening and this is the reason why Renuka was included in the list which was mentioned. Renuka is located in Himachal Pradesh and it is actually India's smallest, one of India's smallest Ramsar site. Okay. Now, Already you have one gone, two gone, four gone. Now, if they are asking how many pairs given below are correctly matched, so you can clearly eliminate all the three. All four pairs are not correctly matched. Only three pairs are correctly matched. That is wrong. Only two pairs are correctly matched. So now when you have the last one, you know the answer, which is Rudra Sakar is in Tripura. And the answer to the question is A. So the answer to this 2022 question is a, only Rudra Shakar is correctly matched with your Tripura. Which of the following are most likely places to find the musk deer in its natural habitat? It's a 2020 question. The question reads and this is the options given. So, there is Ascot, Gangotri, Kishanpur and Manas. Okay. Now, the topic is about musk deer and if you have been watching these sessions regularly, you do know that we have discussed musk deer in detail in the species part, in the species PYQ. At that point, I had told you musk deer is the species that is occurring in very, it, oh, it needs a little bit of high altitude and in those areas, it is occurring in a little bit of colder, dry conditions which are there, not in a much more tropical area. Now, if you think on those lines, Without any idea about the rest of it, if you look at the four places which are given, there is Ascot, this Gangotri, this Kishanpur and Manas. Manas is so famous that we know it, it is there in our head without any recall that it is in Assam. Assam does not fit the bill of the kind of places I just described. It's not cold, it's not dry, it's not, it's not a place where you have a little bit of grassland kind of a thing. It's a much more wetter, a little bit more hotter place. Manas certainly is not a natural habitat of your musk deer. If you eliminate Manas, you end up with two statements which says 1 and 2, 2 and 3. Now again, 2 was one thing that was quite obvious because Gangotri, the name itself, Gangotri is considered to be the glacier from where you have your origins of your uh, Ganga. So then obviously you have Gangotri in the mix. Now you just have to choose between 1 and 2. And this is where you have to understand and you have to have a rough idea about where both of these places are. So, Ascot is located in Uttarakhand. Uttarakhand. 
and your Kishanpur is located in UP. Now again use the same description I told you and think about it and tell me where do you think out of both of these it's a little bit more higher, it's a little bit more colder area and obviously it's your Uttarakhand. So your answer to the question is 1 and 2 only. You're seeing the musk deer in Ascot, in its natural habitat in Ascot and Gangotri. Okay. Now we have a 2020 question. The 2020 question reads as, with reference to India's desert national park, which one of the following statements are correct? It is spread over two districts. There is no human habitation inside the park. It is one of the natural habitats of the great Indian bustard. Okay. Now, first thing that you can obviously put it correct into the sense because we've discussed great Indian bustard and I told you the kind of conditions it needs. At that point, I had told that you have the great Indian bustard in dry grass and very scarce grassland kind of areas. So, it's one of the natural habitats of great Indian bustard. That statement is correct. Okay. Now, coming into the second one, they said that there is no human habitation inside the park. See, now this is a very absolute statement and one very other side fact that you have to know is, I have told you about how the great Indian bustard is extremely critically endangered. Okay. Now, one major step taken by the government to improve the condition of the great Indian bustard is to use the people who are over there because the people, I have told this also previously, the people actually in certain communities and tribal communities over there worship the great Indian bustard as their god and everything, as their chief deity. So then what happens is, if they are included in the conservation activities, it's likely to have much more better results. How is it possible to protect the great Indian bustard if they are not allowed into the park? So, what happens is there is no habitation inside the park. That is a wrong statement. The second statement is wrong. If the second statement is wrong, I think we can maybe get the answer because only one fits the bill and that is one and three. Yes, the desert national park is spread over two districts. I just remember when this question was asked in 2020, a lot of people in their hurry, they just um, misread the question into two states and got this question wrong. So, keep a point away. It is spread over two districts. It's a very large national park. It's spread over two districts and it's one of the natural habitats of the great Indian bustard. The answer to this question is C. Further, let's move on to a 2020 question. The 2020 question reads as, among the following tiger reserves, which one has the largest area under critical tiger habitat? Okay, now before I go into the details of this, we had in our environment law, uh, previous year question, we talked about this critical tiger habitat. What exactly is it? Critical tiger habitat is a term that was introduced in your Wildlife Protection Act of 1972. What is the meaning of critical tiger habitat? The idea is sometimes in certain you would declare an area as a national park or a wildlife sanctuary and you've declared it as a national park or a wildlife sanctuary and in that national park or wildlife sanctuary you have tiger population but not so high that you have to declare it as a tiger reserve or anything. You have tiger population there and you want to protect the tigers there. Okay, so what do you do is in your national park or wildlife sanctuary, you determine certain areas as a critical tiger habitat. You clear boundaries over there and you start protecting the tigers in this region. So now the question that they are asking over here is which one has the largest area under critical tiger habitat? If you look at the area wise out of all of this, if I ask you which is the largest tiger reserve also, which is the largest area that is covered for tiger protection? It is one answer itself. You have your Nagarjuna Sagar Sri Sailam Tiger Reserve. The answer to this question is C. Moving forward, the next question is a 2020 question. The 2020 question reads as, which one of the following protected areas is well known for the conservation of a subspecies of the Indian swamp deer 
which is the bhara singa that thrives well on hard ground and is exclusively graminivorous okay what is all of these words first of all first they are saying it's a swamp deer okay it can swamp deer means what it needs that water and uh, land mixture but they are saying that it can grow well on hard ground also so yes so that's a good point over there so it's adaptable to both then they are saying it's exclusively graminivorous which means it eats grass okay so let's have a look so if kanha manas mudumale tal chappar okay now again the reason why this question was asked also i'll just tell you so this was asked in 2020 one of these national parks was in news that year primarily because they chose this bhara singa as their flagship species flagship species means if at all when you are having any kind of conservation activities and you want to conserve a species in its best amount what do you do is you create that species or you call that species as the brand ambassador kind of a thing so for example if there is one of these national parks they will say that okay we have our mascot we have our brand ambassador which is your bara singa and if you want to protect the bara singa you have to come over here you have to see the bara singa you have to protect it in that way so they'll create all of these programs related to it now the one national park that created this campaign for the bara singa was your kanha national park kanha created a campaign turned the bara singa into a flagship species they even gave the mascot a name called as bhur singh so bhur singh the bara singa was the mascot and they have popularized it as the flagship species so the answer to this question is a kanha national park a 2020 question the 2020 question reads as which of the following protected areas are located in kaveri basin so there is nagar hole papi konda satyamangalam and vayanad see whenever they ask kaveri basin understand it's kaveri kaveri is tributaries and the areas around it okay nagar hole which is in karnataka papi konda is in andhra satyamangalam again tamil nadu region and vayanad in kerala okay i earlier told you kerala has tributaries of kaveri but not kaveri so that is there hmm? so let's look at with that four vayanad so four vayanad is there in all three options i can eliminate this now coming to the next one nagar hole we know for a fact it's ha it has tributaries of your kaveri river it's in karnataka so one will also be correct so now the options left is 1 3 and 4 One, two, three, and four, and this is where you have to know. In your Papikonda National Park, which is in Andhra, it has no. Andhra is much more higher when it comes to these areas. So you have Karnataka, Kerala, Tamil Nadu. Kaveri starts flowing from the Brahmagiri, and it falls into your Bay of Bengal. It does not reach to your Andhra or anything. This clearly is a misfit over here. The answer to this question is one, three, and four. So the answer to this twenty twenty question is C. One, three, and four. 